10CC's Graham Gouldman talks about one of his favorite Canadian performers, Ron Sexsmith. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. We have a whole series on Graham Goldman on our sister channel, our big channel, Rock History Music, where he talks about all the big hits from 10CC. And then a third channel coming up on March 20th, Rock History Book, where we're going to premiere every single song from his brand new album, Modesty Forbids. That's Rock History Book. There'll be a link at the very top of the description of this video. When I was doing research, and I'm a research peg when I, when I interview people, when I was doing research on Graham, I saw a picture of him and Ron Sexsmith, who I spent a little time with off and on in radio, doing a songwriting circle in England. We talked about that. I noticed that online there was a picture of you and Ron Sexsmith, the Canadian singer-songwriter. Yeah. Ron <laughs> is probably one of the most unique... Uh, beautiful men that I've ever, I remember I was sitting in a, and again, it doesn't happen very often. We were sitting in a coffee shop earlier in his career and he heard one of his bigger hits for the first time on the radio. And then inadvertently the manager of the restaurant who never served anybody came out to serve him because he was such a big fan. It was just one of those moments in times, which a guy like me, a radio guy doesn't feel you get those all the time. How do you know him? I love Ron. Uh, we met, First of all, I was already uh, aware of him. Um, there was a song I love, There's Gold in Them Hills. What a song. And so I was aware of him. And then I did a BBC television program with him called Songwriter's Circle, yeah. where they have three songwriters and we, you know, in rotation, sing something. And we, then in the end, we sang something together, which was an Everly Brothers song, Dream, I think we sang. and. So I'd never, you know, some of the songs that he played that night, I'd never heard before. And it shows a song is really special if you get it on the first hearing. Sometimes you need like two or three hearings to actually realize how good it is. But with Ron's songs, it was like immediate. Anyway, we kind of stayed in touch with each other. We were in, in um, St. Catherine's. Uh, by coincidence, he used to live there. Uh, because my wife's father lives in Toronto. And uh, anyway, the upshot of it is we went for a curry in St. Catherine's, which was really nice. And whenever we know if he comes over again, we'll, we'll definitely get in touch with him. But I, I love him. He, he's, he's, a, he's a super talented uh, man. I remember when I first saw him, I hadn't seen him. He was in the he was in the uh, the doorway, and I was running the radio station at the time. And I came up and I, can I help you? He said, "I'm Ron Sexman. you know, because uh, he doesn't look like a rock star, which which is what I love about him, you know. Is he's a very sort of shy, retiring, he's a very sweet guy. Coming up on March 20th, Modesty Forbids, the premiere on our sister channel, Rock History Book, where we'll play clips from every single track, and Graham Goldman will talk about every single track on the album. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rock History Canada.